We have a grand chef this morning in the dish. In fact, Barbara Lynch is the only woman in the U.S. holding the elite title, Grand Chef Relay and Chateau. She's also a Southie, born and raised in South Boston in a large Irish family that struggled to survive. Years of hard work paid off, though. Chef Lynch was named Outstanding Restaurateur in 2014 for the award-winning Montan. Her popular Boston-area restaurant group features a full range of dining options. She has seven in all. So we're excited to welcome Chef Barbara Lynch to the dish. Hello. Hi. Lobster roll from Boston. <laughs> what could be more, uh, more oh. appropriate? Right? New England, summer, lobsters. It's, it's fabulous. Tell us what else you got here? We have a beet, uh, beet salad with toasted croutons and goat cheese, um, lobster rolls, coleslaw um, <clears throat> with uh, butter pickles. This is mm. like a really, you have to have it all together. This is a tomato tartare tan with um, mascarpone cheese on top. Ooh, nice. Um, and there's caramelized onions underneath. And this is um, fettuccine with basil, pesto, pine nuts, and potatoes. Oh, potatoes. That's mm -hmm. interesting. And then to top it off, we're going to have to have bread pudding because this is, this is a must. You're going to have to have this. <laughs> no, the real top <laughs> With off is always the drink for us. So tell us what we're also this drinking today. Oh, this is called a Palmyra, which is a um, signature cocktail at number nine since day one. Very simple, actually. A mint simple syrup, vodka, and lime squish, uh, fresh Ooh. lime juice. Really refreshing. Yeah. So you've been really open about saying you grew up in sort of a rough neighborhood. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say humble upbringing, maybe, yeah, but no rough, yeah. Well, what were you like as a preteen, and when did the cooking bug really hit you? I don't know if you? I can say that on television. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting past you had. I know, yeah. Um, I had, um, yeah, my mom had seven children, and I was the last uh, one, last lynch, and uh, she raised us single-handedly, so I had a lot of time on my hands, put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, I really didn't like school, wasn't a big fan of school and academics and um yeah so your I've, first your first job was actually cooking for the priest across the street in the yes, church three priests yes when and you were 13 13 until i almost burnt the house down <laughs> 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 I, and then uh my that was my first job and second was i worked at the saint Patolf club with my mother she was a server right um and i i waited on tables as well and then, uh, many, you know, many jobs, Boston, and then a boat on Martha's Vineyard. When did I, you know? So was it around this time? Was it, was it 13 that you 12, realized? 12, -ish, wow. 12, 13, I knew I wanted to be a chef. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I knew, I felt right. It felt right to me to like, I don't why know. Why did it feel it, right? You don't know why? It just why? felt natural. Yeah. Cooking felt natural to me. Yeah. And, mean, and then I talked myself into it. Like, I'm going to be a chef. Right. I'm going to be a chef. When I look at your sort of biography, I mean, a lot of people consider themselves fearless. Few have actually stolen a city bus like you did at 13. Yeah, I don't <laughs> recommend that. Right. But like, where, how does that fearlessness help you in the kitchen? Because I think a lot of yeah. chefs, female chefs that we hear from, often say it still feels like it's a very male-dominated world. Yeah, it could be, if you let it be. Um, I just put the blinders on and, you know, I guess it is from, from growing up and playing hockey and being a rough, rough and tumble kind of yeah. city kid, inner city kid. Um, I knew what I wanted and I went for it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I never thought I'd get this far, but I just always thought, God, if I can cook, um, I'll always have a job. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to learn how to cook. I'm self-taught. And so, you know, I'm, I, I actually grew up in kitchens basically, and that's how I learned. I think it's so wonderful that you've done so much work mentoring other women in the kitchen as well. That's great, isn't yeah, it? It's wonderful. We need more women in the kitchen. We, we need more women business owners in general. It's yeah. just not in the kitchen. It's own the restaurants. You know, you can do this. You can have a family. Your children will be proud. I have to say hi to Marquesa, my daughter. <laughs> I'm sure she's because very she, proud. She's so proud. She's <laughs> like... You know, it's it's great. She, we make lobster rolls every Sunday uh -huh. now in the summer. So, mm -hmm. Well, as I hand this dish to you and get your signature on it, we want to ask you if you could have this meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? Oh, man, Julia Child would, Julia Child would love this. This is right up her alley. Just sure throw some would. goldfish in there. Chef, thank you so much. <laughs> and for more on the dish, please head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.